Hi, everybody. Here we are, Julie and Kelly. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Julie from juliegetty.com and wonderfulhealthyhabits.com. And Kelly? I'm with the Powered Essential Life at Powered Essential Oils. So we want to welcome you. Thank goodness I have Julie here. Oh, I see Joni's joined. Hi, Joni. Welcome, Joni, to our class. <laughs> We'll give a couple seconds here for some people to jump on. I know I've got quite a few people that are wanting to join us. Oh, hi, Kat. Yay. Hi, Kat. How you doing? So we're just going to kind of go over a little bit with, you know, just a general, what are the essential oils, how do we use them, and why doTERRA. And then we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make three different items in a spray bottle with the essential oils. So I think you're going to really love it. Um, one is going to be an after sun spray because I know that finally now we've got sunshine. So you guys, <laughs> you guys are going to need that after sun spray. I know my my niece just texted me and said, "Uh oh, help! I need some help. Sun sunburn." So um, we're going to do that. And then another one is going to be for two things all in one spray bottle. It's going to be Monster Be Gone for the children who need a little bit of help at, at bedtime. Um, you can go ahead and spray it and, oh, poof, monsters are gone. And then you can also use it just for good sleep for us adults who, who've who already tamed those monsters. And the third one is, what was the third one? The third one is going to go ahead and be an all, the hand, all natural hand sanitizer. That's right. Which um, we all know is very important to have. We don't want to be using that alcohol stuff. So. Exactly. So it's, it's going to be um, some great make and takes. Um, and you're going to want to go ahead and, and e send us your email addresses so we can send you those recipes. We'll remind you at the end of the class also. Exactly. On that. So. You want to go ahead and get started, Kel? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about, just real quick, you know, what are essential oils. There are some people on here that, that um, are new to essential oils. They're not familiar with them. So they're basically naturally occurring volatile aromatic, aromatic compounds. Um, they're found in the seeds, the barks, the stems, the roots, um, you know, of the plants. And they actually protect, the oils protect the plants against their, their environmental threats. Uh, you know, it's kind of their protection system, which is also why we use it for our protection on there. They're highly concentrated, doTERRAs especially are highly concentrated, and so, you know, they're distilled for purity and, and potency um, for the oils. And so they, um, you know, that's what makes sets doTERRA different from some of the other companies on there. And, you know, they've been around forever. The, the oils have been around, you know, since, since forever, like I say, bazillions of years and things. So you can use them in beauty treatments. You can use them in food. Um, you know, there's several different ways you can use them. So, you know, that's basically what the essential oils are. And let's show um, them how we use those. Okay, how do we use those? Here oils? you go, Julie. Okay. All right. Let's put a little bit here of an oil in your hand. So this would be the aromatic way that you go ahead and use these oils. So you're gonna put them in your hand, and you're gonna. Ah, smell them and you're going to be in a great mood to go ahead and smell those you can also go ahead and rub them on for topical use on there and then also Kel how do you and like to right. use it so this is my very favorite way on lemon is everybody who knows me knows so we have some water and we got some oil every every time I go to get a drink of water I add two drops of lemon essential oil not only does it make the water here taste much better, but it does definitely get in and make make your system a little bit cleaner. So very, very nice that way. Now, we're going to tell you why doTERRA. So number one, doTERRA is the largest company globally, which I love. They're also a debt-free company, so definitely love being with a company that's financially responsible. Not only that, but they also help us. They have a program that helps us, if anybody's interested, in going with a debt-free life. So contact us if you want to know more about that as well. And then what's really important with essential oils, just like Julie was saying, is potency and purity. So when you go to the store and buy, you know, essential oils, you're just grabbing one off the shelf. Um, more often than not, you know, they've been tested. Um, occasionally they'll come in and test them, but they're not 
what they say they are. So they'll say 100% pure, but because there is no um, FDA regulation on it, they don't, you know, they don't have a standard. So more often than not, they will come with chemicals or adulterations. So instead of being all 250 drops in this bottle of, what is this one, On Guard Oil blend, there would maybe in theirs, there may be 50 drops, and then maybe the rest is coconut oil or some other, you know, filler. So with doTERRA, it is what it is. It's all pure, and it's very potent. What makes it more most potent is that the plant is grown indigenous. So plants, you know, when, in, when they're grown in their different environments, they are, um, they're the best of the best. They're absolutely the best of the best. And of course, it's grown in optimal soil and temperature and climate. So that's what makes it the most potent. Um, and doTERRA works, you know, we work with the farmers directly um, so that, you know, they, we know that they're harvested, planted to the very best that they can be. Um, so doTERRA, that's just some of the, <laughs> that's just a small reason of why doTERRA, um, but it's my favorite reasons. And they do go ahead and test those oils um, at the dirt level when they're distilling them and also when they get into doTERRA's facility. So they get tested three different times um, to make sure that it is still all nice and potent and pure oil. Exactly. On that. Um, so that's just a quick so, summary. Yeah, that's just a little tiny, <laughs> just <a> little. <laughs> little tiny bit of what we would say at a class. Exactly, exactly. So we're going to go ahead and start making... Um, what do you want to start with the after sun spray first? Cal, so let's or? let's do that. Okay. All right. To make it easier for you guys and not watch us be very very bad chemists <laughs> <laughs> because we spill a lot, um, we went ahead and have already put the witch hazel and the fractionated coconut oil in this. I got it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, this is we've already filled that part. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and and do the oils while we have you with us here. So this is the after sun spray. This would be for my little niece, Jessie, girl, who had a little bit too much sun. Yes, so what, we've, what we have already added in there is four tablespoons of fractionated coconut oil and two tablespoons of witch hazel. And the reason we add the witch hazel is that at, by adding witch hazel, the droplets of the oil will actually stay dispersed. It remains in the water um, base. And the result is the stable of the emulsion. So, so technically, you should not have to shake it like we do. You know, kind of like when you make a salad. You have oil and vinegar. You have to shake it so they all mix together before you put it on your salad. Well, by adding the witch hazel, you should not have to do that. I still do. Just I guess it's probably just do. habit and okay. things. But that's, that's the reason why you want to go ahead and add the witch hazel on there. All right, so we've got, for that, we've got the coconut and witch hazel already in there. So now we want six drops of peppermint. Oh, okay. Peppermint it is. Okay. And again, you guys are going to go ahead and have access to these recipes, um, and we'll let you know at the end how to go about that. So what I do is um, I go ahead and order these neat little testy tube things so I can act like a chemist. And so what I do is it makes it easier. So I'll just fill that little tube up, and then we're going to count out six, hopefully. Perfect. And, you know, if you get an extra one or two, it's not going to uh, hurt. Kuna Matata. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we want 30 drops of lavender. So lavender, one of my favorites here. And that lavender is so good with the, with the sun spray because it actually helps um, cool your face down and helps you turn your sunburn, at least I have found, into a tan, which is good, and so you don't have to peel. Yeah, that don't was like 20 drops, 30 drops. 30 drops is what this says here. Oh, I guess you guys want to see it. <laughs> She's already put in about 20, so. <laughs> okay, and the lavender is also going to be in our Monster Be Gone recipe, too. It is on there. All right, and then 10 drops of frankincense. Okay. So we all know with frankincense, um, it is just wonderful for your skin. It's just um, been around for, for years and years, um, and, you know, so many people use it. Oh, 
There we go. And see, that's how I do it is I just find that I just drop it out of the bottle. Now, some of us old people get a little shaky with our hands, though. Oh, details. Okay. It just lands on the floor. It does. Or the table. Uh, all right. And then you're just going to go ahead and fill the rest with water. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We did not have this we, ready. We did. We forgot the water. We got everything oh, else wow. already. But um, and then for which, for those of you that don't know what witch hazel is, I just got this at my local drugstore. Really inexpensive. I think it was three dollars for the jar. Um, and you can use this. Um, actually, it's very good for your face. Um, you know, to to use. So witch hazel is real easy to find. You're just gonna find it next to like in the drugstore next to the hydrogen peroxide that type of area. Yeah. We've got the cute okay. little spray top that comes with these <laughs> bottles, which are great. Yeah, because that makes it nice. You can just spray it on and there. Now, again, because of the witch hazel, you shouldn't have to shake it. I always shake everything, so I'm going to. I do, too. I'm one of those ones, too, that, you know, when I'm brushing my teeth, you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to put, um, Water on the toothbrush, you know, before I always do. Oh, I do too. Yeah, you you're not. You're not really. Oh. you don't have to. I do. Okay. <laughs> now oh, that you know our smells our oral wonderful. hygiene. All right, spray her. Oh yes. Oh. Mm. Wonderful. Oh, it's so, so nice. That's you guys. you're gonna want to keep in, you know, keep in your purse mm. or your beach bag or whatever, and as you're driving home from that. the from the lake or from the beach, give yourself a spurt, and it's yeah. actually gonna help you with the peppermint. It's gonna help you cool down also. Oh, it's wonderful, you guys. It really nice. I, I wish I you think. could smell it from through the, I know. Through Someday, the Facebook. Oh. Somebody's going to create smell a vision. <sighs> Someday. Okay. All right. Okay. What's, What's next? next? Monster Be Gone. Love this one. Monster this Be works great um, for me and my grandkids. Yes. Um, you know, if you have, I'm sure you have kids. Uh, we know Kat has kids, so this is going to be oh. a real good one. And you know what? Even adults sometimes, they do have nightmares and things so True. you could try this so monster be gone uh, we put our two tablespoons of witch hazel already in there we're yes. gonna go with 30 drops of lavender okay that's it okay it's gonna be a lot guys here hold on let me go ahead and say hi to Linda that joined us and Samantha and Jill that joined us hi gals thank you for joining us the bottles are two ounce bottles Joni Perfect. Okay. All right. And then we're going to want 10 drops of juniper berry. Linda, you'll like this one. I know you use a lot of juniper berry. Oh, okay. Thanks Ten for drops. sharing our video, Linda. <clears throat> oh, got 11. Okay. It's okay. There'll be definitely no monsters with that one. Ah. All right, and then 10 drops of orange, of wild orange. Oh. And some people might say, why use wild orange, you know, at night when you're, you know, you're trying to go to sleep. And some people think that wild orange is actually an energizer and things. But it can also, if you're diffusing it, you can also, it helps people wake up in a good mood and things. So um, I used to think that too. I'm like, oh, wild orange, you would go ahead and use wild orange during the day. 10. 10. Um, you would use wild orange during the day, which I diffuse every day, but um, but you can also use it in this Monster Be Gone because it does help the kids wake up in a better mood. Okay. Um, or if your monster is a spouse. <laughs> All right. And so, the yeah, spray thing. So the spray. And then with that, you're going to go ahead, and we've got the two um, tablespoons of witch hazel. Now you can Which was in there. Already. Right, which was already in there. And you can spray this on pillows. You can spray this on, uh, have the kids spray it so they can think, maybe even, you could spray it under the bed if they think their monsters are under the bed. You could spray it underneath the bed. Oh, that smells wonderful. Um, on that, you can spray it on the bottoms of their feet. You know, this is really nice since it's diluted like that. You can have the kids spray it and, and have them be, guys. have them be it. part of, of getting rid of their monsters on there. It does. It smells wonderful. It does. And I the juniper that. berry. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, and our third one is going to be an all-natural hand sanitizer. Great to great to keep in your purses, guys. Yes, and this you can spray on the shopping carts. Oh, you yeah. know when you go to, to use those. So um, we've are again already added the witch hazel. So we're going to do ten drops of lemon. Where did I put my lemon? 
don't know. Or, oh, you put it in your glass of I water. Did. Oh. So lemon is, is excellent for detoxing. Uh, that's why, you know, we put it in our water, but it also helps get rid of germs and things. So that's why we're adding, we're including it into this water, into this, um, into this hand sanitizer. Five drops of lavender. Oh, yeah. Which, of course, we know lavender is good for so many different things. It's good for, um, for allergies. It's or seasonal threats. Sorry about that. And it's good for, um, um, gosh, sleeping, all kinds of. If you get it stung by a by a bee or something, you want to put some lavender on it. And then ten drops of Ongar, Kel. Okay. And a spray nozzle. And a spray nozzle. I was going to make Julie wear some, you know, chemist goggles and a white lab jacket, but she didn't want to. <sighs> I didn't yeah. want to. No. <laughs> she didn't want to. I didn't want to. I could have <sighs> my motorcycle goggles. <laughs> that would have looked like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this, yes. So, again, since this is a hand sanitizer, and, you know, we all know that the, that the store-bought hand sanitizer with the alcohol in it is Number one, is very drying to your skin. Number two, it's not real healthy for you. And oh, things. but feel this on the skin. But yes, oh my it, just, gosh. it feels so nice on uh. the skin. And again, you can, you can put it on the shopping cart rails because, you know, you don't want your kids holding on to those. Um, you know, yes, the stores usually provide the wipe -ums, But again, those wipies have alcohol in them and chemicals in them, which we really don't want to use. So we can go ahead and use, um, use this hand sanitizer, keep it in your purse. And um, even like at restaurants, you know, I see so many people go ahead and pull out the, um, the alcohol sanitizers, hand sanitizers, um, and their hands are all flaky and dry and yeah. stuff. This is going to work so much better and just so much healthier and clean for you. It is. I, I wish you guys could feel it because as I spray it on my hand, on the back of my hand here, as I would just using it, you know, for a hand sanitizer, it's the hand is soft instead of having that dry feeling with those other sanitizers. And the thing is, you can, you know, the little lid or the little spray bottle comes with a little lid, so you can keep it in your purse. It's nice and snug, mm -hmm. but what a great way to, you know, do it naturally and so you're not you're not killing yourself with those chemicals. But wonderful. Yeah, that's the, that's great. Oh. I, I love I always have my hand sanitizer with me. We keep it on the motorcycle. Um, you know, just to, you just never know when you're out and, or if you're camping, what a great way to, um, to get those hands clean, especially of the little ones before they go and pick those grapes out of your glass or out of your bowl. <laughs> now you I will tell you the fractionated coconut oil that we used here mm -hmm. is the doTERRA fractionated coconut oil. So uh, I know that a lot of you are, have already used it, but those of you who haven't, let me tell you, I'm sure that you guys have probably heard you know, they're coming out with a lot of research that coconut oil is amazing for our, for our skin and, and for our health. Um, doTERRA's is fabulous. So I absolutely recommend this and doing your, your science experiments here. Yes, and you only need a squirt or two when you're using it. I oh, mean, yeah. depending on, you know, in the bottles, we needed a little bit more. But when you're just using it for your face or for your body, you only need a squirt or two and it just, it, um, just absorbs yeah. so nicely into your skin. And this morning, oh, no. I actually inadvertently <laughs> used it to polish my dining room table. <laughs> so during my chemist experiments here. So it works really, really well. Very, very good. So I did want to go ahead and let you know that please leave a comment. And what we're going to do is we're going to put you guys in for a, um, a surprise. A so I will show you. Show you. Oh, show you here. You can't see much of it here, guys, but it is a gift basket, and it's chock full of really neat doTERRA. Let me see. It's darker over here if they can yeah, see a little bit see. more. There we go. Little little bit of, but we're going to go ahead and give away a gift basket. And um, also, once if you can go ahead and send me your email address, I can go ahead and send you some of the recipes, the recipe sheet that we made today. Also, I've got some extra recipes that I would love to send you of some different make and takes that you guys will love. So it'll save you a lot of money, and it's so much better for you. Um, just definitely go the healthier route for you. So put a comment down, and then also if you send us the email address, you'll get two, um, 
two chances to win the gift basket. Exactly. On there. So that's that's kind of fun and things. And I think we'll wait a couple of days before we actually draw because this is going to go out. Where right. I'm going to put it on my page so we'll get some more people involved so we have um, some more names. Now, obviously, if you're already a doTERRA um, rep, uh -huh. then, um, then we would like you to just go ahead and still put some comments down and things, but we'd like somebody that's not a doTERRA rep to go ahead and receive that gift basket. Correct, Kel? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So that, that way they can experience the doTERRA um, products and things. But any questions, um, just definitely get, send, us a, send us a little comment, and we'd be happy to answer that for you. And thanks to Julie for letting me get over my whole complete horrible fear of doing Facebook Live. She is just doing, she is just doing, just doing awesome. Hi, Deb. On there. Yeah, my sister so. Debbie joined. Nice. Yeah, nice. she's in Palm Springs enjoying the sun. Isn't that nice? Oh, she needs the sun spray. She does need yes. the sun spray. So, Deb, <laughs> you're going to have to watch this from the beginning so that you'll, because you will need that. Yes. Later, I'm sure. But we do really appreciate you guys spending this 20 minutes with us and, um, you know, learning a little bit about the doTERRA products and, and about the recipes that we have made. And like Cal said, please let us know if you have any comments at all. And um, we will certainly let you know who wins the gift basket. It'll be exciting. Yes. All right, so, guys. Thank you guys so much for, for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. And thanks. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.